As we draw segments, rays and lines to form angles, they cut arcs on the circle. For example, this is called a central angle. A central angle is made from radii and starts at the center and cuts the same arc size on the circle. So if the central angle is 50 degrees, then the arc it makes on the circle is also 50 degrees. Now this arc is called the minor arc and what is left on the circle is called the major arc. Major arcs are greater than 180 degrees and minor arcs are less than 180 degrees. If an arc has exactly 180 degrees, it is called a semicircle. Of course, by extension, if in a circle or in two congruent circles central angles are equal, then the arcs they intercept are also equal. Okay, so now we extend the radii that form the central angles and make diameters out of them. Notice how different diameters project the same central angles in two directions, left and right, up and down, and so on, always giving us equal arcs. Now, if we move away from the center, these are not diameters anymore. They are chords. And chords, depending where they meet, they could intercept different size arcs. Notice how arcs change. However, the angles made off the center of the circle stay the same because they are vertical angles. What changes is the distance from the circle itself. Anyway, these internal angles being made by the chords are still related to the arcs, but in a different way. These angles are actually the average of these two arcs. In other words, to find internal angles made by chords, you must add the arcs being intercepted, and then divide the results by 2. For example, if this arc is 100, and this arc is 30, then the internal angles are 100 plus 30, or 130 divided by 2 is 65 degrees. And this angle made by these two chords is 40 plus 60 equals 100, divided by 2 is 50 degrees. A special case of two chords crossing in a circle is when a chord is also the diameter and meets another chord at 90 degrees. When this happens, the diameter becomes the perpendicular bisector of the second chord, and then the arcs being intersected by the bisecting diameter are congruent. So if diameter AB is the perpendicular bisector of chord CD, then CE equals DE, and arc AC equals arc AD. So if arc AC is 55 degrees, then arc AD must also be 55 degrees.